Uh, hey, don't mind me. I'm not the fighting type. You'd probably kill me right away, so nah. Go on ahead. Wait, just a moment. Your voice. Where? Wait a minute. I know you. We always talked through the door. Huh? Whoa, hey. I am Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans, and uh, same. I'm surprised you didn't seem interested in coming out of the ruins. Well, I really wasn't. But this child. We had a long talk last night, and I realized letting humans leave to face Asgore alone. Well, it made me no better than Asgore. So, I felt I should protect them personally. Heh, <laughs> whatever floats your goat. <laughs> oh, Sans. Okay, okay. Knock, knock. Who's there? Etch. Etch who? Oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I don't stand a chance next to such a pro. I'm glad of all the monsters to meet first. I'm glad it was the one who promised to never harm a human. Yeah, I'd never hurt an innocent. <laughs> I absolutely agree. Brother! I forgot to mention- Paps, uh, maybe you should go back to your post? Wait, Paps as in Papyrus? Is this your brother? Huh? Your Majesty? Did you cut off your beard? <laughs> oh, you mean Asgore? No, I'm Toriel. Hey Papyrus, what is the skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowed roof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with- Shingles. Sans, who is this lady and why does she talk like you? Uh... Oh, thank you. Wowie, you are very good at puzzles. <laughs> thank you very much. The ruins have many of them. It's odd. You like puzzles and puns. Honestly, Sans, you should have told me about this lovely goat clone. She likes puzzles and she's least half cool. Nah, how else could I keep up? My mysterious loner thing. It seems to me someone's gotta find your skeleton key, Mr. Loner. Haha, <laughs> you go to be kidding me. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. Stop. You know what? We should celebrate. Grillbees, my treat. Grillbees? Yeah, we passed on it on the way. It's be good. Ah, Grillbees. Normally I'd say no, but with such good guests, a good host I will be. Yes it is! I, the Great Papyrus, ready to order. Sup, B. Well, this is it. I know you don't like it here, so thank you. Oh, no problem! And you too, Sans. Treating us like this is so thoughtful. Yeah, no problem. I wasn't sure if leaving the ruins was right, but all of you. Well, I guess I just haven't been this happy in a while. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very much. No probs. That's right! I forgot! I need to use the bathroom! Sans does too! Uh, no time to be shy, brother! Let's go! Uh, oh ho! <laughs> I see what's going on here. You can't pull wool over the eye sockets of the great papyrus. This new goat clone. You want to pull her into the friend zone, huh? Ah, don't worry, Sans. I have great books on friendship that can... Papyrus, wait. Hmm. That's real nice, Babs. I'm sure it'll help me be friends with Tori. So, listen. You trust me. No matter what, right? Huh? Of course. So, even if you don't understand why, when I ask you... No, beg you. When I beg you to never allow yourself to be alone with the human, you'll listen, right? Uh, oh, uh, of course, brother. But what's wrong with them? It's better if you don't know. I see. Sans, may I say something? Huh? Uh, sure. I've been thinking this for a while, so here goes. Sans, you're my brother. I know you better than anyone. And I also know you tend to... Well, you don't tell me much, Sans. I can tell you hide a lot from me. A lot about you. And the, I also know that you probably believe you're protecting me by pushing away. But, 
Sans, I... Are... Are you okay? Yeah, fine, bro. Oh shit, did I kill anyone? Hey, what is- I said shed! And I said shit. Shed. <laughs> you know how waterful accents are. We always make words sound so wacky. <laughs> how right you are, Undyne. Oh, shed. Okay, that makes more sense. Though you certainly can't see our shed from here. <laughs> Child, get away from her. Golly, what happened since we left? It's been like two seconds. <laughs> Who knows? I'll go see what's happening. Be careful, bro. So freaking sorry for the curse and the, uh, the spear. <laughs> Strike one. Come on, pups. I got to find myself less creepy friends. Now listen carefully, warrior. I don't want to harm anyone. I really don't. I only want to navigate this youth safely through the underground. But I cannot allow someone so blatantly flipping spears around to threaten children. That one was an accident. I was trying to look threatening. But it really is you, isn't it? Queen Toriel. Everyone believe you're dead by now. Ex-Queen. I gave that up a long time ago. I mean it. Don't make me hurt you. <sighs> How could you protect them? They're the final soul we need. They're the seventh human to fall. No, they're not. They are the eighth human child to fall. You will not pretend Kara never existed. If you had to try to look threatening, then that means you either won't fight, or you know you'd lose. If Asgore wants this child warrior, then let that whelp come face me himself. <sighs> I can't possibly attack the queen. When the intel came in, the queen was escorting the human. I couldn't believe it. Just... Queen Toriel. How could you defend a human above your own? This is absolute betrayal. I am not defending humans above monsters. I am simply saving one more human child from a senseless murder. Senseless? I... <sighs> no point. You want Asgore? I'll bring him. Forget it. I'm done here. No! Undyne, this can't be! Lynn, this is no way to start a friendship! That's it. The Great Papyrus won't allow this. There's only one way to become best friends, and that is through friendly competition. Huh. I really thought it was going to be cooking. It was going to be, but Girl B kicked us out. Undyne really doesn't like Hotland, so Metaton's kitchen is out, and our kitchen is unusable, so we have this. Papyrus, this is very lovely, but I'm just not sure. Oh, come on, it'll be fun. I should really get to Asgore. Okay, first up, Sans, pick up that boulder. Oh, uh, wait, me? Of course. We all must become better friends, and this is how. Oh, uh, what about you? Silly. I already am the perfect friend. Okay, you can do it. I forfeit. Thank you for trying very hard for friendship, Sans. What can I say? I just don't have the muscles for it. Your turn, Undyne. And also, because I lose no one! Bwah! <laughs> Check it! <sighs> Can't beat that, can you? What? Wowza! The power of friendship is so strong, it gave you the strength to lift boulders with one hand! Ugh. Hey, Undyne. What? Oh, Sans. Coming to threaten me again? What? Nah, just came to ask a favor. Hmm, a favor, huh? Yeah. It's pretty important. I have to go talk to someone. Undyne, while I'm gone, promise me. Promise you'll never, never take your eyes off human. This is serious, isn't it? Heh. <laughs> More serious than you could imagine. That's why I need you to do this, okay? Huh. <laughs> okay. I'll keep everyone safe. The kid won't leave my sight. But Sans, remember whatever is going on. I'm your friend. You can tell me. Okay. Thanks, Undyne. 
but I really have to go. All right. Hmm, Sans? Maybe he didn't get it to work? Huh? Hey there. Back so soon? Yep. Looks like you figured out how to talk in my dreams. Yep. It wasn't too hard. And we still have Frisk with us. So what's up? Got any questions? Yeah, of course. I came back because this time, there's no time limit. The more I understand, the more I can help. So, last we spoke, you said you can manipulate time now, too. Right? I did say that, yeah. Though, I'm a bit of a dramatic storyteller. <laughs> Go play again. Okay, Frisk? Mm. Frisk, no. This is private. Mm. Frisk. Okay, okay. The worst part of the story is over. Well, sort of. If you want, you can stay. Hmm. <laughs> what can I say? I can't say no to you. Let's see. Oh, right. I was in the save screen. I thought I now had the power to manipulate time. The reset option wouldn't work when I attempted it. Then, without warning, the world reset from the last save point. And me? I was back in the Judgment Hall. About to do the same battle over and over and over again. Kinda figured Frisk would leave at this part. My newfound determination allowed me to remember every single reset. But it wasn't enough to surpass the humans. So from then on, again and again I fought. As time kept resetting, I started noticing something horrifying. After a while, I was predictable. Everything I did became predictable. And with each and every reset, the kid lasted longer. And with each and every reset, I grew more and more tired. The kid wasn't giving up. I know they weren't going to. I was never going to see my loved ones again. And after 536 tries, the human succeeded. I was actually kind of relieved. So I left the judgment hall. And as soon as I was out of sight, I let myself collapse. <laughs> Hi, Paps. Sorry I tried to so hard at the end, but I guess it just wasn't enough. I guess I just couldn't save anyone. Wait, the same screen. Would it work? I'm half turned to dust, but maybe I can still save them. And with a snap of my fingers, I left time completely and never returned. But how is that possible? You were turning to dust. Ah, uh, that. Well, when I showed up here, I was re- What was left over? Whatever wasn't dusty. This left with some undesirable results. I didn't have much matter left, so to recreate my body, it left some holes. Well, not just holes in the body. Since I've been here, I've only had about a ninth of a soul as well. And you want to know where the rest of the soul went? It went on to recreate the next sands. Well, wait, so I only have... I don't have a full soul? To be absolutely technical, yeah. You probably noticed something odd, but couldn't place it, right? Maybe something missing? or odd behaviors, things you don't normally do. Maybe issues with memory. At least these are the things I noticed. And again, maybe it's so bad with me because my soul is so small. Sans? Ah, actually, I prefer Geno Sans. Geno Sans? Why? Oh, well, I don't feel like I deserve to be called Sans anymore. Not to mention, it's the name I deserve after I let everyone die. So, did I answer all your questions? I have plenty, but uh, only one more that matters. Are you... are you doing alright? 
I mean, the wound, your eye glitch, looks like it's worse. The scarf? Doesn't it hurt? I mean, do you need someone to talk to? Stop. I I've accepted it. We both know it. I'm not going to live at the end. Forgive me. Before I die, I just have to be certain. Papyrus will never suffer again. Now, this is the last we'll talk about it, okay? Okay. Hey, Gino, mind if I talk with the kiddo? Huh. Well, sure. Go ahead. Hey, Frisk. Right? Uh, good to meet the real one. Mm hmm. So, Kara can talk. Can you? You tell Sans that yes, you can speak. Ah, so then you're just the quiet type. You tell Sans that you guess you are. You already seem like a good kid, Frisk. You don't deserve to be stuck here. You tell Sans he doesn't know what he's talking about. Hmm? Well? Well, how about this? We'll do a guessing game. And if I'm right, you nod. And if I'm wrong, don't do anything. How does that sound, kiddo? Mm-hmm. So, that kid Kara, they're possessing your body. Mm-hmm. And they've been in your body only for a short while. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, did they possess you in the previous timeline? Mm-hmm. So, the first timeline I remember. You never had control. Only Kara did? Mm-hmm. And before that, in the timeline where everyone was murdered, did Kara alone kill everyone? No response. I think I get it now. So, Frisk. You tell Sans to wait. You say if he's going to guess your life story anyway, you might as well tell it yourself. Many lifetimes ago, I came to the underground, and the very first person I talked to went by the name Kara. Kara told me that they died there in the underground. Kara promised to help me out of the underground. And they did. And when we finally got above ground again, all of our new friends came with us. While in the underground, I discover a secret power inside of myself. Determination. My determination was so strong, I could go back in time whenever I pleased. And I loved meeting everyone so much. I loved having family and befriending each and every monster so much. That I used this power, this determination, to do it all over again. For a while, it was fun. Sometimes they remembered me, if only for a little bit. Befriending them over and over again eventually got boring too. Even Kara was getting tired. And that's when Kara first suggested, Hey Frisk, you know, it's not like we can't just reset the damage we do later. Why don't we try something new? Why don't we see what happens? Why don't we try killing them? To blame Kara would be a lie. Kara was right. I could just fix it later, you know? I expected that response. At first, I killed a couple monsters, and I reset from the guilt, but then I did it again. I experienced every ending, I took every path, I found every secret. In Sans, you, you, the first time of many I fought you, took 536 tries to kill you, but I still succeeded. Wait, 536 tries? And your first time of many? You mean, you killed me many times after that? Yeah, the first time took the longest too. And through every reset, Kara got darker, or disturbed. And the influence they had on me got stronger. I had never seen this side of my friend. Kara wanted everyone to hurt. Kara deep down, wanted to make everyone suffer. After I killed you the first time, I realized Kara was going to do something bad. So before I reached Asgore, I reset. I relived and reset the world over and over again. A hundred lifetimes? A thousand? I don't know. Eventually, Kara got their way. Killed Asgore. And Kara? 
parts of my body as their own. And when that happened, I was ejected from my body and ended up in the save screen, a soul with no body and an old friend waiting for me. Of course, I'm referring specifically to you. I knew immediately it was the first Saiyans I had killed. I'd never seen you so mad before. I ran, begged, pleaded. I told him it wasn't me, it was Kara, but he knew I was a liar. I ended up pinned. I begged him not to destroy my soul. I knew he wouldn't listen. But for some reason, like he had an idea, He stopped. He knelt down and he said to me, Hey kiddo, why don't we just forget all this, okay? Come here, pal. I'm tired of all this fighting, aren't you? <laughs> you tell Sans. Since took his hand, he's been nothing but kind. He lets you play with the gassers. He makes sure you're never lonely. It's... You tell Sans it's almost too much kindness to bear. Hmm. Because you don't deserve it, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You know, I noticed that while you told the story, your glitch disappeared, or whatever that was. Why is that? You tell him. Because I'm tired of hiding behind my guilt. I want to right what I wronged. I want my body and my determination back. Well, that settles it. We know how to fix the whole thing. We need we have to trick Kara into entering the safe screen. With you, me, and Geo Sans, kids shouldn't stand a chance then. We get your body back. You tell Sans. That would be nice. However, it would never work because you would be playing right into Geno Sans' hands. And you really don't want to do that. Kid, what? Sans! No, 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 no! How could I screw up this badly again? Papyrus, God, I'm so sorry! Papyrus, I'm so, so sorry! Whoa, whoa! Gino, what's going on? Sans, you have to go back now! I messed up! I should have. I wasn't watching! I should. Sans, it's Papyrus! Papyrus? What happened? No time! When you wake up, head towards Waterfall! Go now! <laughs> No, it's okay. It didn't hurt this time. I'm fine. I... Frisk. Where are your glitches? You tell Gino Sans, I'm sorry. I can't go through with it. There has to be a better way. For everyone. And a better way for you. <laughs> so kid, what exactly did you tell Sans? You tell Gino Sans, enough. This is what I get for trusting my killer to stick with me on this. <laughs> I am too nice. But I gave you a chance, and you failed. Ah, uh, well, what can you do? Anyway, you've officially lost freedom privileges. You dirty little traitor. <clears throat> Let me through! I mean it! That kid tried to stab you! I was trying to protect you! Sans, go to Waterfall. The kid, he- the kid is alone with Papyrus! What? Wait, stop! Sans, I won't let you pass me- Huh? Did he just teleport- Wait, no! Don't hurt my child! Papyrus. Papyrus! Where are you? No, 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 no! This wasn't supposed to happen. Please be okay. Please be... Oh. Papyrus? Best bro? P perhaps Stop. This isn't funny. Cut it out. Stop it. Say something. This isn't funny! This isn't funny! <laughs> oh, I really disagree. Sans? I think this is absolutely hilarious. <sighs> you know, Sans, even with you keeping memories, you're still really bad at this game. 
I mean, really? You remember I killed everyone you loved before, and then you go off and take a nap and leave me with them? Wow. <laughs> you must really hate your friends. I mean, seriously, all I had to do is pull out a weapon, any weapon, on Toriel without her seeing it, to enrage Undyne. Obviously they'd fight, and obviously Papyrus would try to protect me. You all became so predictable over time. This is all literal child's play. Anyway, you lost this round. Here, if it'll make you feel better, I'll let you kill me to start another reset. How's that? Heh, <laughs> here we... Huh? Kiddo, we've thrown a lot of words at each other in the past couple timelines, but we've never actually talked. So, I want to ask you, why? Why kill him? Papyrus, he's been nothing but good to you. Why hurt him? Don't you care, even just a little? Come on, kid. There's gotta be something in there. A good person. A good friend? Maybe? I do like Papyrus. I always liked Papyrus. But that's what you do when you love someone, Sans. When you love someone, you hurt them. And they hurt you. This is how the world works. Loving your brother will cause you more pain than anything else in the world. You'll see. It just always hurts. Child? My child, where are you? Uh, oh. Well, better do it now. I can't imagine the guilt she would feel if she knew that by protecting me she got her new friend Papyrus killed. So, let's go. Don't want to hurt her too, right? Huh? <laughs> Not in his scarf. Guess I'll see you in the next timeline. Kid.